Do you think this is funny? Do you think ratings like these are funny? Like, I'm not gonna notice. Like, I, like, I just don't care. It's not my YouTube channel. Y'all can just run amok and do whatever you want. You think it's okay? Eh, what kind of ratio is that? Like, 300 to 1? never seen that in my life. What, am I a beauty YouTuber? Y'all are ridiculous, man. The amount of love y'all are giving to this series is too much. I'm gonna ask you to stop. It's enough, okay? I don't deserve it. Man, I've uploaded four videos this whole year. Y'all are out here acting like y'all love me or some shit. I love you. Damn it. Y'all getting me in my feelings. Thank you for supporting what I do and supporting movement. Think it is cool and enjoying the cause that I love you. And also, 1.2 is out for clients with... Download it now! Top of the link in the description, man. It just came out this morning. Y'all are gonna love it, because people on the server have been loving it. And I got some stories to tell. Welcome back to another episode of Movement. I'm in my feelings. Y'all are amazing. I love you. Let's film some Minecraft, please. Thank you. This episode of Movement is going to have two parts to it. First part is gonna be me talking a little bit, probably a lot. And the second part is gonna be actual content. That part's a lot longer, so don't worry. I'm not gonna just jabber on the whole time, but I do wanna make clear of uh, what I've been going through the last week. I gave myself some steak to run around and not get starved because I like to pace myself when talking about things. Friday of last week, six days ago, Movement 1.2 came out on the server. This is before public release. People on the server got it earlier than everybody else because it was special. And the first day, everybody loved it. It was great. Everybody was enjoying new content. Server was stable. TPS was, it was all beautiful. Until the day after. So I wake up Saturday morning the next day to a few messages from people who have played on the server being like, hey, uh, I'm lagging out like every hour that I am on the server. Uh, apparently there was a memory leak issue with the update and every hour people would get kicked because their RAM would just continue allocating until either their Minecraft crashed or something else in their computer crashed. And a big problem with that is imagine you're a streamer or you're watching a streamer Imagine every hour at random, you don't know when it's going to be, could be while you're in the middle of doing something important or your friends are showing something off, you get disconnected and that's about five minutes of downtime. You have to close your Minecraft, relaunch your client, wait to join the server. It's a lot of downtime. It's like a BR streamer almost. It's just a content killer. So immediately my mind is like, okay, I need to fix this thing now. So I hit up Nate and Jackson, the mine coder and Frost Day, you know them both. And we're like, all right, you guys are the server boys. I'm the one making the mod pack. We got to figure out a fix. And uh, they deserve a lot of love, by the way, because the problem with a memory leak error is that to debug it, you have to make a change, wait like two hours or sometimes even longer just to find out if it worked or not. Because the only way you can test it is, does my client crash? And if it doesn't, then you're good. And the fact that Jackson is on an Australian schedule and Nate was up at like 8 a.m., still like not gone to sleep yet with me and Jackson, uh, they gave me countless hours of their time for nothing more than just out of the kindness of their own hearts. So again, if y'all want to drop a little bit of love on their Twitter, send them like a heart or something on a tweet, their links are down below. Please do. They deserve so much for all the love and support. I, I could not do this series without them, but, uh, yeah. We had like four or five straight sleepless nights and we still couldn't figure out the problem. <laughs> I'm going to spare you all the things that we did because I promise you we did a lot and I don't want to go through it all. <laughs> but we found out one thing and that is it's not because of 1.2. Believe it or not, the day after the update came out, it's not the problem. It was just a coincidence because 1.2 is entirely stable if we loaded up a fresh new world. It's completely fine. Even on a client, it's completely fine. So whatever problem people have been having lately was an issue before the update came out, which is not great. I didn't love to hear that. And our diagnosis so far is we don't know what's causing it, but we know that it only happens when people are in the overworld. It doesn't matter if people are in the mining dimension, the buzzier bees dimension, or the, uh, the bee, whatever, the dimension you know what i'm talking about or even the nether what the hell so yeah something in somebody's build or a mod that people are using in their builds is causing people's clients to crash uh pretty frequently and we don't know exactly what that is but whiskey and choco actually did a little bit of thinking because whiskey has been getting lagged out every like 35 minutes and funny enough they have a very large mystical agriculture farm and coincidentally 
So does the crew. They've got like a, not as big, but still a pretty decent sized mystical agriculture farm. And both them, Whiskey and Choco, have been getting the same problems. So we haven't tested it because this information just got relayed to me a couple hours ago by Whiskey. But we think it might be, let me go ahead and fly over there real quickly. We think it might be the, uh, that's okay, Minecraft, take your time. We think it might be the different kind of soil. Uh, if I could take a little look right here. The farmland, rather, from Mystical Agriculture. Because apparently these things tick on their own instead of, like, normal vanilla Minecraft soil that handles it differently. These things are basically, like, a constant redstone signal, each one of them is, to determine, uh, you know, the growth speed above here. And I think the reason for that, Choco was mentioning, is because the growth accelerators that come with this mod are placed underneath and they tick the block faster. So what I'm gonna do today is try and remove everybody's farmland, not like the normal vanilla Minecraft farmland with mystical agriculture stuff, that doesn't matter. Just the modified farmland and see if that fixes the issue. But I just want you guys to know that the last week without uploads, I promise you, I know I, this is my motto and it's been for years. I was not lazy. I just, there was a an urgent thing that came up and people constantly crashing and not being able to make proper content on here was like, I could, I didn't want to do anything else. And I haven't been doing anything else. Anytime that I'm like recording a video or anything <laughs> was time that I could be spending trying to fix this issue. So I hope you guys understand that it's been like my number one priority. I think if, again, the Mystical Agriculture thing doesn't work. I just have this unfortunate realization that people are going to continue to crash on here. Not me, because I can allocate 30 gigs, <laughs> but other people can't because they might not run like dual PC setups or whatever. But yeah, basically, unless you have like a stupid amount of RAM allocated to your client, like I do with 30 gigs, people are lagging out. And it's just made me like really sad and anxious that people haven't been able to play on here. So just that's why I've been gone. I'm sorry I haven't been able to make content. I just I wanted things to be good so people could at least film. Like, it's not even a problem of like, oh, you know, well, hey, lagging out every hour isn't that bad. Whiskey can't even play because he lags out every 35 minutes. And Choco, I mean, I'm going to pull up a screenshot here. This happened to Choco. Like, that. that is... I, I... So that's that's where I've been. It's been frustrating. But, uh, life of a server administrator, I guess. <laughs> anyway, enough about all the bad stuff. We're on to part two of the video, and, uh, yeah, 1.2 came out, and I'm really excited for it. Obviously, you guys are gonna get to enjoy it as well, but let me give you a little rundown of some of the things that got added. First off, in terms of generation, there's a new biome generation mod that pairs with Biomes of Plenty called Oh the Biomes You'll Go. It adds a ton of brand new blocks and biomes that are absolutely beautiful. A lot of new items, in fact, even some really cool tools, like there's, a uh, Penderite, and Amatrine, I believe. And Penderite, like, if you look over here, there's even a Battle Axe that does 15 hearts for comparison. My Black Opal Axe is 11. It's a very slow swing speed, but that's pretty damn cool. I don't know what kind of enchants you can put on that. Like, if you can put, like, Leech and Sharpness or whatever, but really sick. We'll have to give that a try. And there's also Upgrade Aquatic, which is another biome generation mod. It adds a lot of stuff in the ocean, as you can imagine. There's a lot of, like, new coral stuff. Blocks you can build with the new coral things. There's mobs that spawn as well, too. There's even, like, Nautiluses or actual entities now. Actual, like, swimming things instead of just the item, which is really sick. So that's the generation stuff. For progression, there's a thing called Xnet, which uh, adds, apparently, invisible antennas. I don't know what those are about. And some cables. That's pretty much it. There's a manual you can get. I don't know how exactly, but yeah, it's like a bunch of cables and connectors. So that's, you know, whatever. There's a miner's helmet now. I added this literally just for speedy. I, that's it. That's the only reason. I watched him do a video where he turned off gamma because he said it ruined the immersion. So I, I put a miner's helmet on here. He doesn't know this mod was added just for him. I don't want him to add. Don't tell him. Literally, don't tell him. Masonry is kind of like the chisel mod in a way. I miss the chisel mod so badly. I, I wish the chisel mod. I, can I tell you guys something funny? The chisel mod, y'all know that one? The little like kind of stick item that was in like Crazy Craft and stuff. The chisel mod apparently works with uh the Lost Cities mod. So if we had the chisel mod on the server, all of these cities would spawn instead of the uh, terracotta with like beautiful marble and like chiseled stone and it would look so good. 
but instead we have the suck. I mean, these don't look terrible, but they're definitely not pretty. So masonry adds like a ton of really cool different blocks. The prismary as well. I cannot wait. Oh, it, it hooks as well directly into the stone cutter too, which is really sweet. So I cannot wait to get into that. On the topic of mods that I added just for someone, uh, I added the lighting one purely on my own. Uh, when I thought about building over here, I thought, how am I going to light this area up? The lighting wand allows you to place invisible light sources. So it's kind of overpowered, but, you know, if you don't want to have torches everywhere, but something's dark, you can light it up and mobs won't spawn around that area. So, yeah, it's just a cool little, like, easy to make, easy to repair mod. It's pretty sick. We have the croc mod. We have the lizard mod. We have the turtle mod. And we have the spider mod. A lot of entities flying around, crawling around. So a lot more animals and stuff. Yay. Now, arguably the two largest mods that I added in this update, one is Quark. Quark is a mod that does literally so much, I cannot even tell you. There's mechanics, redstone manipulation. There's like, you can, what, what, what can you do? You can make emotes with yourself. Uh, there's blocks, there's tools, there's utilities. It's so much. It is such a large mod. They have an entire website and it's so beautifully put together. Very huge deal. And having it on here is just this wonderful thing. If I had a dog, you can pet animals and it, it's so freaking awesome. The second largest mod that we have is called Scaling Health. And beautifully, I have a spider here that can demonstrate it. Take a look at the spider's HP here. You notice that he has half a heart more than he actually should. Well, that's a pretty easy boy. If I go down here... Do you see how there's a lot of potion effects around the mobs? Ignoring the... Oh, well, I'm on fire now. Ignoring the potion effects that the witches are giving them right now. A lot of these guys have speed. Some of them have strength, even though they're not visible. Scaling health basically was my change to make mobs have more HP and be stronger. I've wanted to do this since version 1.0, because I always thought vanilla mobs in itself were very easy to deal with. And you really don't need very good armor to just never die by them, essentially. So what Scaling Health does is all of these guys, for example, the zombie has like nearly 20 HP. This zombie has 22.5. This one has 23.45. This one's got 59. I, I saw 59 there. It makes mobs very difficult, which I mean, oh my God, I should probably acknowledge the fact that I have poison on me. <laughs> I wanted mobs to be kind of hard. And this is a very good thing for me because with having the ability to move around so freely in the world, it made, it made mobs almost a non-issue. So this makes the early game a lot more difficult. And the later game, at least, you got to be kind of aware of them, I suppose. So it might not be for everybody, but difficulty was something I wanted this mod pack to have from the start. And this allows us to do just that. Like you can see, for example, this zombie spawned in with a little bit more HP and he's got speed. Uh, some of these boys in here, one of them's got strength, another's got speed. Like you got 20 HP, 93, what? Wait, if you guys look around right now, do you notice the difference in the world generation? Anything at all? Anything look like? something vanilla minecraft normally wouldn't have a beautiful mod that actually affects blocks that were already generated so it's not just new terrain generation it adds to it is called snow under trees which makes it so in snowy biomes trees spawn with snow underneath them not just on top so if we chop down a tree the snow will just lay on top of the existing snow that's connected to this one so i'll demonstrate again so it just falls on top and it just makes the world look a lot more beautiful. Uh, again, another new update. Really happy to have it on here. You may have seen this when we were fighting all the mobs in there, but item physic light is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite quality of life mod I've ever added. It makes items lay flat and have physics to them. Why does regular Minecraft not have that, man? I'm not kidding when I say this is probably my favorite edition of the mod pack. I, I'm serious. I don't know why. I just love it so much. And last mod is called Health Overlay, which just changes your hearts instead of them being like stacked on top of each other. If you have like more than 10, it'll just overlay with different colors. You've probably already seen it before. So instead of it being red, it'll show like orange or yellow or green. And then as you lower your hearts, it'll go back to red eventually. Uh, yeah, it's just a 
a little prettier thing to look at instead of people having to run around with like their HUD all the way up here. Brandon, what's the use of all the new mods if you're not even using any of them? Let's fix that right now, shall we? But before we can actually jump into the gameplay of 1.2 stuff, I need to go back to 1.1 because backpacks were added at 1.1 and I need to make a few of these right now. You need leather, white dye, string, and chests. I've got projects that I want to start on and the sooner I get to it, the sooner we can move on with other things. So I need leather, string, String is easy to get. I don't know how much leather I have, actually. Did I use it all for books? I think I did. Yeah, I gotta go kill some cows. Hmm. I should have got looting on my sword. Oh, actually, you know what? I have a looting 2 book right here. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm kind of at the stage where I've done so much enchanting already that I really just wanna... Yeah. That's good enough for me. I'm not going through I'm not going through the trouble. I just want to I don't want to enchant for another episode, man. I'm done with it. Oh shit. Neptune's bounty got a revise on how it looks. Very nice. Looks cool. Yo, holy shit, dude. Yo, what the frick? Oh, that's so dude. I'm flying around and I see this like grizzly bear type looking ass. Cork changes the textures of mobs to be varied. I love that. Oh, that's so weird. Bro, look at these cows, dude. They look so weird. <laughs> but the leather looks the same when they're dead, though. Okay, so I'd like to make up to a rare backpack. So I can't get epic yet, so I don't have nether stars. So we need yellow dye, and then up here we need blue dye. And after that, it's all just like gold or diamonds, which is a non-issue. So yellow dye, which we have here, and then blue dye. Is that just lapis? That's just lapis. Okay, cool. So we got everything. Okay, I think I've got everything to make a... Yes, I do. Okay, common backpack. Let's make two of these for right now. An uncommon backpack is gold. I have gold, right? I got more. I only have three. I really have been lacking in the gold territory. This badly? Come on, man. Okay, that's a stack. That's all we need. Back home we go. Yeah, I just noticed after saying that, and uh, some people had commented on my last video about this. Um, <laughs> I do a lot of jump cuts, and I think a lot of you are used to watching my content in streams. So a few people were mentioning like, Brennan, are you sure Black Opal doesn't have increased spawn rates and that it's a lot more common than you think it is? Uh, no, I promise you. It's just as rare as I make it out to be 16 times more so than diamonds. I just jump cut a lot. So, you know, compared to a stream, you guys are seeing me get nearly a full set of Black Opal in about 15 minutes compared to the several hours that it might have taken. So rest assured, no, I did not get a full stack of gold in about two seconds. <laughs> right, I should have enough for this. Uncommon back, wait, no, nope, missing items. What am I missing? I am missing the gold ingots themselves. Do I have five of you? Yes, I do. Okay, crafting pad, one of you, and another one of you. Thank you. Okay, so that's a pretty good upgrade. That takes our backpack from, where are you at right now? Uh, ooh. That's broken. <laughs> okay, still very cool though. And the rare backpack, the diamonds, and okay. So diamond, diamond. What else do I need? The blue and then the regular chest. Okay, also my, uh... <laughs> huh, why did those reset? That's, uh, I don't need to explain. It's just some debugging we did and unfortunately all my things reset, which makes me very sad. But that's one diamond backpack and that is two. And uh, how many slots does that give me? That's pretty good. So a normal chest is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cuts off right here is the normal chest. Okay. That's very, very good. So uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to put everything that we own inside of here. And by the way, uh, we updated the backpack mod to fix the issue where shift clicking things into your backpack would delete them. So none of these things should get removed from, uh, you know, the ways that other people have had their stuff uh, disappear before. That got fixed, thankfully. We are going to take everything that we have, and we are going to dump them inside of here. I have a feeling that some of you might be, a, and you kind of, okay, maybe you know what I'm doing, but I'm not going to say it because then you're going to get mad at me. But... I, I want you to, to, to hold off and refrain from that because... Can I still touch these, actually? Oh, I can. That's really nice. I want you to hold... Just just please don't comment. Uh, don't say anything. Please. 
I have something really cool to show you, and it's part of the update, and it'll make you very happy. Just don't, don't say, please, just hush. It's okay. Everything will be all right. Please don't get mad at me for this. I know you're going to be. <laughs> In my past, I've insulted YouTube viewers frequently, probably more often than I should, to be honest with you. But I don't think any of you are stupid, and I don't think any of you are dumb. That's why I'm going to say what I'm about to say with my chest. I'm moving again. Now listen! Oh. So, in my second episode, when I uploaded me moving here, a lot of comments were like, okay, you know, he knew. <laughs> that was a really funny comment. Um, uh, people were, yeah, you know, I understand. I see your view. I, I, you know, wanting all the real estate you want to be able to build whatever you want to do. I get it. Well, there was one comment that wasn't very highly upvoted. I think it only had like two, but it struck a chord with me more than the others. And that was, imagine making a mod pack based around movability, verticality, parkour, and building on a flatland world. <laughs> like, I, I could get what I'm looking for here by generating a super flat world and putting down speed 2 beacons. Like, there's no point in me living in an area with no verticality. So, in the 1.2 expansion, we have new biome generation. And the world previously was on a 5k border. Well, with the new biome generation, I increased the border and pre-generated chunks to 7.5k radius, which makes the world border go from 10,000 to 15,000. It's a lot, even though it's technically half of what the old world was. I think real estate-wise, there's even more than there was before land. So, uh, we're moving to a new location. I found a beautiful place. And uh, to prove to you guys that I'm not going to move anywhere else, we're going to build our house over there. You might be wondering where that place is. Well... It's 10,000 blocks away from here. It is on the complete opposite side of the world. Not even that. It's also right on the edge of the world border. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go and take a little journey over there with our backpacks. And I will see you guys in a moment. This mod pack really makes me wish that Java Edition had the player doll that's in the top left hand corner in every version like java I, I bedrock has it and i'm completely envious of bedrock thank you side for killing my flight whenever i'm flying around or moving and shit it might be because i have a cute ass character let me be honest my slime is adorable but i i love staring at my character when i'm moving dude it's like i don't know why also i find it kind of romantic that in getting to this new place i'm flying over my original place i was gonna live do I regret moving here? Or not moving here? You know, I don't think I... I don't think I regret it. Like, not choosing this place. Hold on. See, the thing is... I tried to make myself okay with being surrounded by, like... Ice-cold, blue, dyed water. I don't think I'd be fine with it. I like the light blue airiness that's, like, over over there that's that's more my kind i don't think i would have enjoyed living here to be honest it's not a bad place and the sky does get that color that i'm looking for in the ocean so it's not a trade-off but yeah and here we are ladies and gentlemen i would like to welcome you to <laughs> this is such a cool biome it's biomes of or, sorry it's biomes you'll go's shield biome and as you can see, it's take tropical, jungle, and mountains and put it on steroids. Now, this is where we live, but it's not the exact location. Because I could very easily enjoy some time here and, you know... Like, this isn't too bad. Say we were able to live, like, in the mountainside like I've done for a couple series. You know, we'd have a view... Let me in here. Ooh. We'd have, like, this view right here of kind of the lakeside or whatever. And it doesn't look too bad. But... You know, verticality that's the thing that that's why this biome stands out to me a little bit like look at what i'm able to do look at the jumping okay i'm not perfect at it but like look at the jumping i'm able to do and the you know flying around here's where we're gonna live ready for this this is where we're gonna live it is in kind of a little like closed in area kind of reminds me of the island from arc I find it funny that I talked shit on Ark when I was introing off this mod pack, but this is where we're going to be, and I love it. Uh, it's got a little pond at the bottom, so if we wanted to collect some fish, we could do that. It's a new generation. Obviously, it has to be, so we have, like, the different types of stone that are inside of here, 
And my idea, if you guys remember in Ark, how they have like the little uh, tree platforms. And if you don't know Ark, you can take these platforms and attach them to really giant trees. And it'll create like a disc with a fence around it that you can stand and live on. I was thinking it'd be really cool if we like made several different areas inside of the stone. And made like a little extension, kind of like a patio or a porch lifted over uh, the air. We could have it suspended by fences and kind of do like a diagonal scheme or whatever and make it really cool. But the other, uh, you know, with this being such a large biome, you can see on the map, it's it's huge, this thing, is there's a lot of real estate inside. And I'm going to cheat to show you this, but take a look inside of the stone. It's so, so such a cool view. But look at how much real estate there is inside of the mountain. Like, toward the edge of the trees, how much room there is to work with. This is like, if we wanted to... I can't imagine hollowing this thing out. I don't even know if that'd be possible. With a lot of time, it could be. But we can make, like, a ton of different rooms in here. And my... that That's just one thing. But let me go back into game mode zero. My favorite thing about this area... Other than the fact that there's a small little lukewarm ocean right here. Because the water in this biome is normally a deep blue. Not... Sorry, not deep. But it's like a standard Minecraft blue like this. There's like this little... Um, extension right here that's lukewarm ocean so it just makes this pond area a little bit more nice to look at and we want to collect like sharks and stuff from upgrade aquatic one of the other 1.2 mods we could put them down here and name tag them and things and maybe even make us a bit deeper and then we have these uh i think the mangrove roots growing on their own like this around water is part of the upgrade aquatic thing because they have like bushes and flowers and stuff that grow alongside the oceans but uh here's my other thing you can attach the grappling hook from any distance in here. So if I'm all the way over here and I want to get, say, right over there, it reaches. This thing is limited to around 82 blocks, so often it will hit a point and then reel back in. But say, like, I've got a platform over there and I'm on this platform, I can jump, reel myself in. It'll take, like, a little bit of adjustment, but I... And basically there. Like I'm on this platform and I want to get to say there's a platform over there. Cling on, reel myself in. Okay, I'll get better at it, but you, you see my idea. You get the point I'm trying to make. Is where it'll be. So I'm gonna set home pog. I like that. Our home set over here is beautiful. Uh one thing I'll probably wind up doing is like uh actually, you know what? Let's start off by doing a little bit of terraforming. If I've got some stone in my backpack, yes I do. I want to get rid of the water streams to make this area look a little bit more pleasant cuz right now it does look a little messy. There we go. Okay. That's going down right now, but that already looks a lot nicer. That way the light blue is the only blue that's accenting this area. This looks a lot better already. God damn. All I did was plug up like three things of water. Oh, yo, wait a minute. I'm in the cave right now. Wait. Look at this. I think that's the, uh... That zombie's gonna die. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> Holy shit, that was graphic. Amatrine ore. Is that the really good one? Amatrine? Amatrine battle axe. No, that's the, uh, the weaker one. So if I... I should have used fortune. I have a fortune pick. I don't know why I didn't... But that's one of the new, uh, ores. Oh, it's very common. Or at least somewhat common. Where is my fortune pick? It is not in here. I'm gonna have to take these both out real fast. There we go. Fortune? Yeah? Do I get multiple from you? That was two. And this is two as well. So we have five of those. It can make a battle axe, sword, pickaxe, axe. And that's it. It does make blocks. And man, those look kind of beautiful. Although apparently you don't craft those? I'll show you a crafting recipe for it. Can you not make... What? Amatrine Penderite block. Amatrine scraps. Then what do you do with these? Oh, wait. Amatrine? Amatrine scraps. Is Amatrine gems and Amatrine... Oh, Amat... Oh. Wait, then what's Pender... I don't know. Yo, I didn't even realize this. But I think when I updated this mod, I think it nerfed efficiency 5 on these pickaxes. I don't have insta break anymore. Damn. That's kind of well, yeah, that's fair, actually. So we need efficiency six then, if I wanna get that. Maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Worth a shot. I think 
whiskey has done something with this and i think mefs might have also but i don't know who else has checked into it because most people just jump into refined storage one of my favorite mods i say that a lot don't i yeah i need to shut the hell up one of the mods on here is called quartz chess and it makes court it makes chess absolutely gorgeous so uh let me show you a little something if you take quartz and you take some chess and you take what do i need or my leather I need a little bit of leather because I need to make item frames. Okay, I've got that. I've got wood and I need... What else do I need? I need a sign. Oh, for the, the label on the front. Okay, cool. So let me make some signs as well. I guess I could just turn these all into sticks. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that will give me four signs, I'm pretty sure. Ah, six. That's good enough. And the item frames will get... How many do we want to make of these? Four is fine for it. Yeah, because we only got four chests. Uh, crafting, got that. Plus, horse chests, four. Cool. So what these things are, they're like dummy good chests. Kind of like, if any of you guys remember from like the Crazy Craft days, the uh, iron chest mod that had like iron, gold, diamond, uh, obsidian, and even crystal, I think one of them was. This is kind of similar to that. It's a blank chest in front, but when you open it up, it's decently bigger than a normal chest. I think that's, that's about the size of a double chest, right? Unless I'm insane. This just looks smaller, I think, because of the backpack I was just using. But I'm pretty sure this is the size of a double chest. So what you can do is you can change the chest color from, you know, default to that, which looks really sick. Accent colors as well. Uh, this is the... How does this work? Exactly. I haven't messed around too much with this myself. But, like, if we wanted to do, say, a little bit of some purple action right there. A little bit of hot purple. Okay. I like that. What's the def for? Oh, it's default. Okay. So that... You know, that works. And then also, you can change the item in the fronts to be anything that you want. So if we wanted to say, like, this will be our ore chest, I take the item and I put it over... Where is it? Not uh, filter. Border color? Chest color? I'm trying to remember how I do this. Text color. Wait, did I see it there? Oh! Oh, shit. Cork... Oh, wait. Cork's filter overwrites with the... Oh, I need to, I need to fix that. So that's the filter and then the icon is behind it. But if I do that, I get, okay, that still works. Thank God. So yeah, you can label chests with uh, items, any item you want. So we can do like horse on the front. And it says or. Pretty neat. Really good way to be able to balance whatever you like. And that color scheme actually fits the others, so. Drop all three down here. You can put them next to each other, which is really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and empty my backpacks. And then I think what I'm going to do, because I want to make my first platform out of the wood that's here, but I don't want to use any of the wood that we have right now. So I'm going to go take a travel to... I generate a lot of this world, by the way, while I was online, if you're wondering why so much of it is explored. Uh, a lot of this was not my actual own doing. I'm going to go see if I can find another one of these biomes that I'm in right now. Uh, yeah, right over here. That's so far away. Holy shit. Do I have a closer one somewhere? I think there's another one closer, maybe. Is it over here? Yeah, I'm going to go over here. 7,200. Holy shit. Okay, that's really far. Can I put a waypoint down there? Yeah. Go here. Confirm. We fixed the crashing on that, by the way. How far away is that? 45. Ah, it's not too bad. Yeah, so I'm going to dump these and then just go chop down trees till my life says I'm done. I know this is interrupting uh, the point of the video that I'm in. And I know you're probably confused why I'm sitting on top of the cruise island in creative mode with Frost sitting on a Prismarine staircase. <laughs> we just figured out the cause of the memory leak. And I feel like this weight has just been lifted off of my shoulders. I, okay, so it's mystical agriculture. Of course, it has to be literally probably the biggest mod in terms of progression in the mod pack. But Mystical Agriculture, the farming mod, is the cause of the memory leak. We have gone through Frost, Coder, and myself. Uh, they rounded to around 46 hours of testing in the last week alone. And I also have to shout out uh, Whiskey Bravo. And Shoko, you know both of them. They both steered me in the direction of it being mystical agriculture when Whiskey had pointed out that, well, his farm is twice the size and he's getting disconnected twice as frequently. I know you're thinking, oh yeah, Brandon, that's obvious. It took you four or six hours to figure... Yes, 
It did. It's very hard to pinpoint a specific mod when there's so many things. We thought it was like security craft. We thought it was like, I, I don't know. It could have been anything. We fired up a test server without mystical agriculture on it. And we AFK'd here. Frost usually gets kicked for memory leak errors in around an hour. And he was able to stay on for three with uh, no RAM signs of like it going up. We put mystical agriculture right back on and he crashed like usual. So... I'm incredibly happy, and uh, I this is great news. Uh, the downside is that it's, well, it's the glider culture. We've removed all of the farms, and if Frost gets kicked like usual, we'll know that that's the worst case scenario. It's just the mod itself that's causing the problems, which would be very terrible because I do not want to remove this mod. But we don't think that it is because one of the tests that we did a long while ago, I think on like Wednesday, was we loaded up a brand new fresh world with all these mods and there was no memory leak errors whatsoever. So it wouldn't really make sense for all the farms to be gone and the crash to still happen. So if Frost doesn't crash because all the farms are gone, that means in best case scenario, the mod can stay. And people will just have to decrease the size of their farms exponentially, which really sucks. Like, it really, really sucks, regardless of anything. The fact that this mod is causing so many issues. Who knows? Maybe we'll report to GitHub and the mod will be fixed. But for the time being, uh, hopefully it means that people will just have to make their farms smaller uh, by a good amount and that will prevent people from getting the memory leak error because it was starting to get really bad for people hey again frost coder whiskey shoko i owe them so much <laughs> i'm so tired <laughs> i want to build man i just want to play the way the sun peers over this area makes me so uh, we're so close to getting optifine for forge we're so close to it the last update they made was fixing forge compatibility and they've already got shaders and as soon as they do oh i cannot wait to see this area because i have no way of seeing this area in shaders and that kind of sucks but here's my plan this area we're going to turn this into our home at least for right now i was thinking about doing like the up like the disc or whatever we'll try that another time this is going to be a floor layer and what's really cool about this area that you're looking at is this is the only area that opens up to the surrounding ocean so if you think about it, what we could do is we can make a house that goes like protrudes through the mountain, carves a little area out of it. We can make a back door here to the backyard, maybe for boats and stuff like that to be able to explore around the... I mean, we're going to ignore the fact that we have much better ways of getting around oceans than boats, but you know, we can still make a boat dock. And then the entrance would be here. we we'll make a little pathway down to... You can ignore this dock that I'm trying out right now. I was messing around with the mahogany logs. And uh, cork has a really cool feature called stained wood, where if you take any dye and surround it or put in eight different types of wood, uh, any type of wood is fine. I'm not speaking correctly. But if you take any kind of wood and you put in a dye, it'll dye it to like a certain color. Like, for example, if I took out, uh, yeah, like yellow dye. Uh, actually, well, I might as well do pink dye here. And you take planks. If you grab this here. And you put the planks in like that, and you put the pink dye, it makes eight pink stained planks. And they look really cool. These kind of match the mahogany locks. It's unfortunately, there's no mahogany planks in Old the Biomes Will Go. I'm sure they'll make an update on it eventually. But for right now, these give you jungle wood. And I don't know if I like that, because I don't feel like the jungle wood fits in too well with the purple. Like this kind of like deep salmon maroon color. I don't know if it's more maroon or salmon. It looks more salmon to me, like burnt actually that's that's like really bad like expired salmon i'm looking at but yeah i was thinking that'd be really cool so i'm gonna take some time and figure out what i want to do for it uh probably take use of the shuffle mode to be able to make like a walkway here since with masonry this is what i'm really excited about masonry adds a ton of slabs here like it's all embellished craft where's masonry stuff all of this yeah there's so many different kinds of stone we can get some nice pallets to work with i don't know anything about like working with pallets but we'll learn for this series i want to make some really cool looking builds and uh yeah this should be fun so actually i might as well see if i dig through here how deep is this and where does this come out from the back okay that's reasonable i mean i can see it on the map right there that's really cool actually i can see it on the map huh 
And the floor is... Okay, actually at a pretty respectable height. Yeah, this ain't too bad. Like, we make the floor right around here? Yeah, that's not bad at all. And we can make, like, uh... Hmm. Actually, if we wanted to, we could clear out this whole thing and extend the ocean so this kind of drops off and we can maybe make, like, a, a dock out this way. Kind of like a patio, almost. And then a couple ladders that, you know, you can climb down into the ocean with. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of terraforming and I'll be back. Here's the cutout. I'm trying to think. It's like, here's the dock. And then I was thinking it could, like, it, like, swirl up into here. And then maybe, like, a corner set entrance through here. But I don't know if that's what I'm gonna do anymore. I don't think it's gonna be this tall. I, I already cut out one for the roof, so I think I'll just wind up putting, like, a, a pattern up there. But, hmm. Because, yeah, this would be the the back for the boats. Or, like, the little... It doesn't even have to be, like, for boats. It could just be... Like a sliding glass door sort of thing with a, an ocean side little little view. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out like a style because I want it to match similar to this area, right? I don't want it to like stand out. So when I'm looking here, you know what? Let me get an, an up angle. Let me see if I can take a peek at this from another view. If it's like down there. Yeah, if it's like down there. I See, I like that, you know? A little walkway up. What needs to happen, though, is uh, if we're going to make, like, that the height of it, we need more, like, ceilings that kind of spread up into here. Maybe even around. Because, like, I think this can be taken out as well. I do. I, it'll be a bit drastic, but I think everything up until basically that tree line right there can be removed. And this whole area, like, we leave this as the height for the ceiling. And then we make, like, some designs with, like, stairs, wood logs, uh, slabs... Maybe some walls as well, too, because there's a lot of walls in this. Uh, let me show you. Masonry and embellished craft, they all had a ton of these things. So we've got everything we need at our disposal. Which I'm not going to lie, for a person who doesn't build, maybe this whole pack is overwhelming a bit. But, you know, it's good for exploration. If you can't tell, my goal by the end of this series is to make you think, why is this man not in Hermitcraft? That was a joke, by the way. I just mean I want to feel more confident in my building skills. I'm confident in my Minecraft skills, and I'm confident in my mod pack creation abilities now, I think. Maybe a little bit more so than I was when I started. But I, I've got a lot of work to do in terms of, you know, speaking in my chest, pumping my, uh... Diaphragm. That's the one. That's the one I'm looking for. Pumping my diaphragm up and being like, yes, this is a good build. Here's what we are going to do. It's going to be perfectly executed. I need to get to that point. Because uh, uh, until I get there, man, I'm just going to be an awkward little shell being like, look at this little, look at my little house. Please don't hurt me. So this is kind of nutty. Y'all know Goblin Traders? This little dude? Well, he spawned here just now. And uh, he offers you know, some decent stuff. And casual prop five. Oh, I don't have emeralds. Oh, I don't have emeralds. 65 breaking four. There's nothing we can do with any of these. Stack's kind of nice, not going to lie. Is there any way I could trap this guy? Like, keep him from despawning? Surely, right? I don't think a name tag would... I mean, I don't have a name tag anyway. What do we need for a, a, a lead again? Because I don't know if I can attach a lead to this guy. No, it was slime ball and four string. I mean, I have that, but just like a villager, I don't know. Because in a lot of these, you know, in some of the mods in here, maybe not in here, but just in like other 1.5 mods, 15. Uh, oh, 15. Damn, we are so far in. <laughs> I don't know why I thought about that. Just Minecraft's come a long way. Goddamn. A lot of mods like make it so you can right click on villagers with stuff if you shift click. And I don't know if that's the case in here, but I guess we'll find out. Like I said, I don't even know if these guys despawn naturally, but if I shift click you... Oh, he don't like it at all. Oh, shit. He, dude, he hates it. Crayfish made this mod, right? What? What's he gone and done making the... What's a pole dancer, dude? What's he gone and done making this dude have such a personality? Like, if you punch him, straight falls over. Oh, he punches you back. Fuck you too, dude. He's apples, man. Goddamn, we got a healthy boy. All right, listen. You're gonna chill here. I think? 
I don't know. Is this a good spot for you? You're not going to drown, right? Or could you potentially drown? Maybe you could. Actually, hold on. Wait. You're not going to go anywhere. Come with me. You're going you're gonna to stay. Where do I want this boy to go? You know what? I'm taking some inspiration from a certain Wuffles on a certain season of How to Minecraft. Are you attached to my hand? Yeah, you are. Tell me this will work. I think he'll stay there. I'm pretty sure he'll stay there, even if the chunks despawn. Well, I hope that was enjoyable for a short while, because I look over and... Damn it, man! Come on! I was so hyped for, for getting brought 10 in episode 30 when I could finally farm emeralds. Shit! So as much as I want to spend 50 years making a really nice area... I just want to get an episode out for you guys. I am filling Pixelmon. Probably around the time that you are watching this. I doubt that's a spoiler and I doubt anybody will care. But we're finally, finally God doing that Pixelmon UHD again with everybody. If you didn't see any Twitter teasers. And I'm very much looking forward to that. But I want to study up at least a little bit. I don't want to go in knowing everything because I can't. <laughs> but I want to at least like know a little bit. I think, uh, don't tell anybody, but I'm probably going to try and bring back my don't fuckle with shuckle strategy where you like try and find a guy with like really high special defense or defense stats and just use, uh, like, what is it? Rest, um, po the poison one, whatever the, the toxic one that like toxins them. And then, um, whatever the one is not harden, whatever the, the, uh, the move is that increases your defense, probably use that a few times. Try and poison Pokemon and then rest up. I don't know if it'll work, but maybe I'll catch like a couple. That's like the only strat I got right now. So I want to study a little bit. But what I want to check out is a stone cutter. Because the stone cutter, the vanilla, normal, regular Minecraft one, is how uh oh, it does not cost an iron. I have all of this. I am lacking a single iron. Okay, let's see what goodies the stone cutter's got for us here. I haven't properly used this before. Okay. Oh, it doesn't... Wait, does it not hover? Wait, if I put it in like this... Oh, it doesn't tell you what it is when you're hovering over it unless you select it. Okay, so that right there is Carvestone Villager, which I believe... So I need to test this. That's the villager on the left there? Yeah, okay. So if I put this back in, it does get... Okay, nice. That's really good. I don't know if vanilla does that. I think it does. What about a wall, though? Same thing? Nice. So anything we put in here... Oh, shit. Oh, damn! Wait a minute. It gives us the option for mossy without... Just from stone? That's really cool. Also, if you're wondering how I got all the stone, I did a little bit of enchanting. I know. Off camera, though. And I got silk touch on top of one of my uh, pickaxes I had before. I just removed the fortune because I don't need it. So, okay. What we can do, then, is... Well, let's... Wait, you can't get regular stone back, though. Unless you can. Polished stone, polished stone slab. I... No. So once you carve stone, you can't get the stone back. You can only get carved variants of it. What's cut stone look like? Ooh. Is that... Wait, is that any different on top, or is that... It is! That looks kind of nice, actually. Okay. So what I'm thinking we do is something really simple here. Oh, I didn't... I need silk touch for the time being. Let's choose a bunch of different things. Let me actually, like, clean up my hop bar a little bit right here. And just put down a bunch of the blocks. Just like this. We'll get a bunch of different designs and then just go crazy on the floor and see how that looks. So, like, carved stone. I guess any kind of carved stone works fine. Like, just doing wither is good. So we've got that. Uh, carved stone right. That's all carved stone. Stone column. That might not look good. What do you look like? See, some of these are really gaudy. And I don't know if that'll fit well with what I'm going for. Because they can't have different tones to them, if you know what I mean. Cut stone. Okay, so we got a stack of that. What else here? Stone pavers. Okay, that looks fine. Uh, polished stone, of course. That's a 59 stack. A little bit more. That is stone pillar slab. Hmm, what are you? Stone pillar. Okay, for making proper pillars. Okay, that's kind of cool. Rough cut stone. Is that different than... No, different. Maybe the, the top might be the same. 
but it just might be the edges or the sides that... Oh! Oh, shit, here's the vanilla variants. Oh, they're all the way at the bottom. There's, like, a gap here. Huh. That's kind of cool how it separates the mod from uh, vanilla. I like that, personally. Rough cut stone, and then this is tiled stone. See, like, tiled stone... Let me take a look here. Are you darker than regular stone? It almost looks like andesite in a way. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Well, why don't we start with just these six and see how that looks if we put it on shuffle. So just doing this here and putting down... Huh. Um? Give it a bit of time. Let me figure this out. I think I'm liking it. I'm probably not going to cut that part where I just <laughs> stared in silence, but I think this looks good. We don't need to do... What I'm thinking here, if you're wondering, is we don't need to do a design for the floor. I'm thinking we do a design for maybe the walls and the ceiling, because we can't make the entire thing random. That'll just look messy as hell. But the floor being random, I believe to be fine. And this is looking... Actually... Maybe it looks bad. Hold on. I haven't... My eyes aren't on the rest of it right now. I think that looks kind of good. Let's close up the walls then, maybe? With just regular stone? And we can always make a design... Oh, shit. Shuffle's still on. We can always make a design later. But I want to see what this looks like with uh, not this, like, clutter surrounding. No way you're just spawning in front of me right now. No way. I wouldn't say it looks great. I also wouldn't say it looks bad. Definitely not great, though, is where I'm at on it. And it's probably because the rest of the cave is so barren. How in-depth can we get with this? Masonry polished stone doesn't make a staircase. What kind of stairs does masonry have? Or does it not have any? Oh. Didn't realize that when I when I put the mod in. There's no stairs. At all. So if we wanted to make stairs, what we would have to do is take out... Wait, that's... Oh, wait. What? Wait. Wait. Why is that not giving me a vanilla option now with tiled stone? Rough cut stone. No vanilla option. What about carved stone wither? Oh. So if you make something out of the masonry mod, you can't get the normal stone variant of it. Which means that there, I believe then, this wouldn't make stairs. No. That means that there's no way to be able to, uh, to get, what's it called? Uh, stairs from the blocks that you carved. I don't know if I like that or not. Oh, that's a bit annoying, actually. I don't know if you can make stairs normally in the uh, stone cutter, but I can't get my normal stone back anyway. Shit. Or even variants of it to make other kinds of stairs. Hmm. That's a bit sad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Okay. Um. Of course this guy would have resistance. Oh no. <laughs> I was just about to say, dude. Imagine I had all this space to build and I made an auto body shop. I made an auto body garage. I also love how, I guess that's really cool. The chest says random shit on it because there's a, I, I was going to talk about this. Um, there's an add on to where you can make, uh, these chests have keep inventory. So I guess it's really cool that you, when you carry chests around that it'll keep the, uh, the name for you. 
Oh my god. Um, okay. So this is gonna be slightly un- Actually, this isn't- No, you know what? I'm not gonna freak out. This isn't too bad. This is for tools? Fine. And then where's the other- Where's the court? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, well... Remember when I said a while ago that we added- Oh, wait. House has got blocks in it already- Wait, what? Wait, my brain? How do you have blocks in you already? That one had stuff in it too. Did it? Oh, I'm I'm so confused. I right, I'm proper confused now. All my stuff's on my grave. Okay, so we're fine on that. I don't know why I have my arrow. Then did I wait? Where my brain? Did I break my arrow? I did, didn't I? Or my my grave? No. Wait. What? No, those are my things. Okay. All right. Hold on. I haven't properly died, like, doing something like that before, so I'm a little, I guess, frazzled. Um, shit. Oh, I gotta repair this now. Man, why did I not- There's a mod that allows you to, to, uh, alter creeper explosions and how they work. And one of the options was, uh, for you to enable when a creeper blows up, all the blocks will drop and not just, like, a portion of them and others will vanish. Like, the- ooh, the, uh, grass, like, all of it will stay. And I'm kind of wishing that I had that right now. But, oh man. Okay. No, we've, we've got enough to repair. We're fine. We can make do. Holy shit. Anyway, yeah. So, here's my auto body repair shop. I kind of wish that the uh, goblin trader was still here. Because I probably would have named him. And made him like the, the runner of the auto body shop. Shit, dude. My area looks like ass now. I gotta fix this. I think what I'm gonna do is just load everything in here. Listen, I'm gonna... Me being new to building and also having a nervous impression because I know a lot of you are new here. Uh, just because, I don't know, if for an audience I haven't uploaded in a while and we've been getting kind of decent views, which hopefully that stays despite my week of absence already. I'm so great at this, man. I just I just wanted to film. Dude, I I don't think I talk about this too much, but like, you know, I'm, I am really proud of the audience. Well, I talk about this often, but I'm proud of the audience that I've accumulated on YouTube because I've always, I've grown my audience being in my eyes, authentic and not pushy. That is, like, I don't yell at you guys to, like, like the video or subscribe or turn on notifications. Like, I, I, I assume that a lot of you have the capability to be able to do that if you wanted to. I'm gonna light this area up down below here before uh, things freak out at me. You know, I think a lot of that also comes from, or, like, a lot of, because of that, a lot of the views that I have retain pretty well, even during a lot of breaks that I've had. You guys still stick around for my content, and I appreciate the hell out of that, and I just... I get panicked when I don't upload. I, I know the last few months have been a bit different for me, but like since the series has started and I haven't been able to upload, like I want you guys to know yesterday was the day we figured out the problem. And like I surveyed everybody's streams. And as soon as I realized that people were pretty much fine, like I went to bed, woke up now and I'm filming. Like I'm right back on this grind. And I just, I'm really hoping that you guys stick around and that the views don't tank too badly from being absent already. So I, I don't know. I just, I love you guys and I hope that we can keep this series going for a little bit. But um, what I was saying was that I don't want to rush perfection on something right now. So even though it's an auto body repair shop that I've built. <laughs> All right. What we're going to do is we're going to load, I'm going to load all this in, but I'm going to go ahead and dip off from the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you like the area. Episode five, we're going to be jumping right back in a building. It'll give me some time to be able to take a wind down, record Pixelmon, study up a bit, and come back on here. And if you guys have any ideas for this place, ditching the whole auto body repair shop idea, like a build, because I probably what I'm going to do is completely scrap this whole thing. I don't really like the floor too much and the whole stone. I want to turn it into a nice proper build to complement the dock that I made. Look at this beautiful dock. It's not getting any... I think it needs to be shrunk a little bit. Probably like one block thinner. Pretty big boy right now. Uh, but if you guys have any ideas, leave it down in the comments and I'll check those out before the next video. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Take care. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll catch you around next time. See ya!